Hi everyone, there's a readathon I want to participate in this month uh, called the Caribathon, uh, which as you can probably guess, um, is celebrating Caribbean authors and Caribbean writing. This is taking place between June 11th and June 20th, and the idea is just to read as many Caribbean authors um, as you can during that time. I, I first saw an announcement for this video on Karen's channel, um, uh, her booktube channel, Run Write Reads, so I'll put a link to her announcement video down in the description below. Um, she's also co-hosting this with another booktuber named Peta, um, so I'll put a, a link to her video as well. And as Karen said, uh, the Caribbean is sort of can be defined in different ways of, of which uh, uh, islands and territories uh, it includes. Um, so um, she has a specific list of how she's design defining it just for this readathon. So I'll, I'll put a list to um, all, all of those uh, islands and countries that are um, she's including in this list. And um, so this is the group of books that um, I want to, um, I sort of went through my shelves of, of uh, different Caribbean authors and uh, books that I've been wanting to read from from my shelves for a while um, so obviously I'm, I, I don't expect to read all of these but you know these are just ones that I'm interested in reading and that I've been wanting to get to for a while and it's something I enjoy about readathons is it sort of pushes me to get to books that I've been meaning to for for quite a while uh, so uh, it just so happens that a number of the authors that I, I happen to have um, were born in Trinidad uh, but then I also have a Jamaican author, a um, uh, an author from Haiti, and an author from Saint Kitts. Um, I think that's yeah the other other authors um, that I have included. So um, first off, uh, and partly why I was so inspired to um, join in this readathon is a novel that was just published a few months ago that I've been really wanting to get to uh, called Love After Love by Ingrid Persaud, and I saw the author um, give a reading from this shortly before the, the novel was published. Um, it sounded really good. And uh, so it's about a, a group of people in uh, Trinidad um, who uh, on one, they, they sort of form this household where um, and um, create a sort of unconventional family together. And uh, over the course of one drunken night, a lot of secrets come out and um, and they, they have a lot of um, debate and fights and uh, and uh, yeah, so it's about their their sort of uh, bond with each other, but also their disagreements with each other. And uh, Marlon James, um, the great Jamaican writer, uh, he calls this electrifying. And uh, yeah, so um, I've just heard really great things about it. This so. is a book that's been sitting on my bookshelves um, for years. I think my friend Christy gave this to me as a present a number of years ago, and I just hadn't got around to, to reading it. It's a book of um, short stories by the Haitian author Edwidge Danikat uh, called Crick crack and uh, obviously they're short stories all about a range of characters and situations but it's um, centered around uh, this this uh, central idea in Haitian culture where in storytelling when uh, the storyteller says crick to an audience then the audience responds in crack. This was also a finalist for the National Book Award and uh, yeah I've just heard such positive things about her writing that I'd really like to get to it. In the Falling Snow by Carol Phillips. Um, Carol Phillips is an author that was born in St. Kitts. And this is a novel um, that follows the story of a man that was born in England to West Indian parents, um, but he was primarily raised by his uh, white stepmother. And I, I think it, it, um, it mainly follows his life uh, much later in his life when he's kind of disillusioned and not sure where to go when he's um, estranged from his wife and his teenage son and, uh, and yeah, trying to, to find what to do with his life. And uh, I've read a couple books by Carol Phillips before, and um, his writing is absolutely beautiful. And I've been wanting to read more um, by him. And I'd bought this novel a number of years ago uh, when I went to New York City and I was uh, browsing around the Strand bookstore. So you can see um, the, the label from when I bought this in the Strand bookstore. So it makes me very um, nostalgic now for being able to visit New York City because obviously I can't travel there at the moment. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, obviously it's a, a book that I've been wanting to get to for some time. So this is a good excuse. Another novel that's been sitting on my shelf for years is Salt by Earl Lovelace, um, a writer born in Trinidad. And, uh, and uh, you can tell how, how long this, uh, this novel has been sitting on my shelves because I went to see the author 
another read from it way back in 2004 at the South Bank Center. And I still have the ticket for that event um, tucked in the, the book. So that's how long it's been sitting on my shelf. Um, so this novel is uh, about, well, the central um, idea of this novel is based on uh, mythology in Trinidad, where during the time of slavery, there was this myth that uh, 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 if you tucked um, corn between under your arms, you could fly back to Africa. And um, and the, the idea is that over many generations and from consuming too much salt, uh, the, the people of Trinidad have lost this ability to be able to fly back to Africa. Um, but the um, the it follows a number of people, I think, in Trinidad in the modern day and um, considers their lives uh, 100 years after emancipation. Another Trinidad-born author is Vani Capaldeo, and this this is actually a poetry collection called Venus as a Bear. And I uh, I heard the author read from um, this, this poetry at event, uh, an event a couple of years ago. So, so bought the poetry collection because uh, it sounded so good. And, uh, and the, it's, uh, it's poetry that um, is, is a lot about animals, but um, it also describes how uh, it's poems also on art, language, the sea, thinhood, metaphor, description, and dance. And they're poems that tend more towards the, the inanimate and animals rather than human experience. And uh, yeah, it just uh, really intrigues me. Another Trinidad-born author is Monique Rafi. Um, this is a, a new novel of hers called The Mermaid of Black Conch. I've, uh, I've talked about this um, book a couple of times. It's one I've been really wanting to get to because I think she's such an intriguing author. The books I've read by her um, are, are so good and uh, want to read more by her. And, and this story um, sounds really excellent. I think um, it's it's all centered around a, a fictional Caribbean island, which is quite interesting, uh, called Black Conch. And it's about a, a mermaid who washed up on shore and has affairs with some of the, the local men and how the local women um, become very jealous of her, obviously. And uh, and so it's about that, that whole dilemma and conflict. And finally, I have a novel by the uh, Jamaican author Patricia Powell. Um, Karen gives the added uh, challenge uh, to read a, a book by a Jamaican author. So this is my book by a Jamaican author. Author, and it's called A Small Gathering of Bones. It's quite a short novel and it's about the relationship, um, the, the romantic relationship between two men in Jamaica um, during the 1970s and how their relationship is floundering and also they're experiencing a lot of pressure because um, obviously the homophobia is quite a big problem in, in Jamaica. And, um, and also I think it's about the, the emergence of the AIDS crisis and how um, one of the, the men in the relationship um, contracts the disease. Uh, so um, yeah, it sounds like a very good um, novel. And also I want to make a TBR list um, for Pride Month. So I thought this would be an interesting intersection between um, that a, um, a Pride Month list and a Caribbean um, list. So so those are all the books on my list. Like I said, I don't think I expect to, to read all of these, but you know, it's just, uh, it's fun to go through and, and make a list of books that um, I'm eager to read. And and hopefully I'll read some of these during the, the nine days of the read Thon. So let me know um, if you've read any of these and your thoughts on any of them, or if you're going to be participating in the Caribbean, or um, you have any favorite books or authors um, uh, of uh, Caribbean authors. Um, yeah, please let me know in the comments below and we can have a chat about it. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye, everyone.